Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Hello, how are you, Gabriela? Very good, and you? Well, I'm just fine, just fine, you know. Same old story as usual. Okay. Well, I... ¿Cómo sería? Voy a cenar. I'm going to have dinner. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have dinner. Niño. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't go here. Go away. No problem, no problem. <laughs> You're going to refresh yourself. <laughs> I know. Uh, almost he drink. Go away, go away. Ah, sorry, sorry. sorry. No problem, that's not a problem. You know, I mean, why could it be a problem? <laughs> okay, teacher. You know, you once... Much. Once in a while, I take one or two, but not too much, not too many, not too many. Yeah, mm -hmm. either I. Yeah, I mean, as I tell you, once in a while, you can have one or two, and that's that's okay, that's okay. But, I take uh, a maximum three. Yeah, me too. I mean, you know, when I was younger, I used to take perhaps two more, like four or five, but that was, and now, I mean, I, I rather drink a, a, a shot, you know? Ah, okay. I love, uh, I love whiskey. Enjoy. Yeah, enjoy, enjoy. Well, Gabriela, go ahead, have your dinner. Let me know when you're ready, okay? Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Catherine. Hello, Catherine. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. You look tired today. You look like uh, a long day at work. Hola. You look a little bit tired. Look at me. You, you look like this, like uh, tired, cansada. Mucho. <laughs> a lot. A lot. De Instead of saying, con dolor de cabeza. With a headache. With a headache. Headache. Oh, really? Headache. You got a headache? Yeah, that's, that's uncomfortable. That is very uncomfortable. It's very incomodable. Sí, por la luz también. Oh, really? Do you have mm -hmm. migraines? Hola. Do you suffer from migraine? What is migraine? migraine? Sí. That's bad. That's bad. Quizás you know? por las madrugadas. <laughs> Me está yeah, afectando un poquito más. Yeah, it's normal. It's normal. I mean. It's not that easy, but uh, what can we do, right? It's part of the job, right? I mean, what time do you wake up? Dependiendo a donde vaya. Oh, really? On an average? Voy a cara sucia. Okay. Uh, Santa Ana, o a Huachapán, o cuando voy a San Salvador, a veces que tenemos reuniones. A las cuatro, a las tres. Mm. Okay, well, it's at 3 a.m. It's oh, terrible. You sí. know? The thing is this, for me it will be terrible because sometimes I I go to sleep around, I, sometimes I go to sleep around midnight, or 1 a.m. So for me waking up at 3 a.m. will be like dead. I mean, 
terrible. Mm. Oh, I can see your motorcycle. Hola. Right behind. I can ah. see your motorcycle. <laughs> ah, sí. Uh -huh. Ahí está. Bien cuidada. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. It's a big one. Nice. Sí, verdad. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Be careful. Be careful. Tenga cuidado. Sí. You sí. gotta be careful Tengo. because, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a little bit dangerous. Hola. Es un, es un poquito peligroso. Todo, profe. Tanto carro como moto. Well, I have had accidents in cars and in motorcycles. Believe me, motorcycle is... Oh, yo tenía que hacer ambas cosas. In motorcycle mm -hmm. is terrible. Más peligro. Yeah. Pero al que le toca, le toca. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know, but still, I mean, you gotta be careful. As much as possible. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, it's good to have you here in class. Thank you, teacher. Okay, let's see who else is around. Angelica, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Very good. Evening. good. Okay, how was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Uh, very well. Working. Mucho, many era, ¿verdad? A lot, a lot. A lot working. Working a lot. Okay. Working okay. a lot. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. You know, Catherine was telling me that she wakes, that sometimes she wakes up at 3 a.m. What about you? What time do you wake up? Mm. Re repeat. Catherine wakes up in the morning. Ah. She's asleep. She wakes up at three or four a.m. What okay. about you? Ah, oh, yeah. Um, uh, five, five. A, a veces five. Uh, dependiendo también, pero sometimes at five. Sometimes at five. Casi every day, Monday a Friday, Monday to Friday. From Monday to Friday. Okay, Monday to Friday. Uh, for my daughter, uh, go to school. Oh, that's why. Yeah. It's difficult when we have kids. It's difficult when we have chicos. Yes. No problem. But <laughs> what can we do? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. No, kids are nice, but yeah, it's a lot of work. Having kids is a lot of work. Yeah. Okay, let's see, let's see. Well, welcome to the class, Angelita. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. You. Let's see, let's see, let's see who else is around. Atenas, hello, good evening. Hi, good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? I'm fine. Okay, and tell me, how was your day? Mm. I went to the CNR. Okay. Check the emails. 
and review contracts. Okay. Um, I make some call. Okay. And I, I solve some problems. Okay, I solve some problems. Okay, so. Okay, what time did you finish working? Uh, 5 p.m. Normal, normal time. Yes. Okay, so, so you finish your day at the office. Termina el día en la oficina. Okay. Wow. Correct. What about traffic? How was traffic for you today? Um, no encontré tráfico. Okay. Do you drive? Um, maybe. Do you drive? Maybe. O sea, algunas veces. Oh, sometimes. Okay, sometimes. Okay. Ah. Driving in San Salvador. Traffic. Yeah, it is, it is. Driving in San Salvador in traffic is stressful. And what do you prefer driving? Uh, mechanic or, or automatic? Automatic. Ah, come on. Driving mechanic is fun. No. In traffic jams, ah, terrible. It's, com it's complicated. No, it's not. It's just a little bit tiring. Un poquito cansado. Mm. Yeah, but I don't like you know, it. You don't like it? Nah, but it's nice. It's nice. Well, Athena, thank you very much and welcome. Thank you. Let's see. Who else is here? Ana Maritza, good evening. Good evening. Teacher. How are you? Mm, very good. Okay, how was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo mi día? Yep. Uh, pues, fui a visitar a, a Mari Guayú. Oh, really? Yes, mm. es, se ganaron un premio. Oh, that's nice. They they got a prize. They got a prize. It is. They got a prize. Prize. Eso es premio. Yep. Sí. Ella oh, es muy buena. Nice. That's nice. That's nice. Yes. Mari is mm, very good. Oh, that's good. That's good. Good to know. Good to know. Excellent. Well, it's good when you make people happy, right? Bueno, yes. It feels nice. It feels nice. That's nice. Huh? Interesting. Namaritza, welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. To you. Let's see. Uh, 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 um. Milton, good evening. Nice having you here, Milton. Braulio, good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Uh, oh. Okay, excellent, excellent. Tell me, how was your day? Uh, I, I'm fine. Okay. What did you do today? Um, five. Yeah. 
No. What did you do today? Okay, so. Okay, so. I'm working. Oh, really? Um, I was working. I was working, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, de medicamento. Oh, really? Mm, yes. Packing. That's packing. That's packing medication. Packing, pack, packing medicines. Or you can say medication. That's packing. packing medicine. Packing. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. You were busy today. So ocupado. Yes. Mucho. Mucho. A lot. Well, that's nice, that's nice. Sí, tengo, tengo a cargo eh, lo que es la distribución de, del centro para okay. distribuir salas del centro. I am in charge. I am? In charge. In charge. Of distribution. Of distribution. Of distribution. Distribution. Okay. It goes like this. I am in charge I, of distribution. I am in charge of distribution. Excellent. I Thank you. Thank you, yes, teacher. Tell, no, no, tell me, tell me, tell me. Go ahead. Uh, I drink uh, coffee. Oh. Uh, how, how many how many cups? How many cups? One cup of coffee, two, three. Uh, a veces, tres, uno en Okay. You go like this. You go like this. You say, good evening. Uh, what? Sometimes, sometimes, three. Mm, well, that's nice. Yeah, I enjoy drinking coffee. I enjoy it. How do you take your coffee? How do you take your coffee? Como tomo su café? Uh, black or with sugar? Uh, black. Okay. Me too, Lucky. me too. No sugar. Uh, yes, lo normal. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Now, there's something here. Solo hay un detallito. Cuando decimos black, Es un café negro, no sugar, quiere decir sin azúcar. Ah, ok. Sí, lo estaba like confundiendo a... con, con el color, entonces hay una diferencia. Yes. El color yes. y el sabor, ¿verdad? Yes. Yeah. When ah, we say a, a black coffee, it means no sugar. Como decimos, a black coffee es sin azúcar. I, I like it. Yeah, I like, I like it. my coffee must be black. And you know, I enjoy espressos. Oh, they are delicious. Uh, teacher. Me, me, yes. Uh, uh, you like to, to music. Listening to music. Oh, yeah. I enjoy listening to music. I listen to almost everything. What's your favorite type of music, Braulio? What is your type of music favorite? Uh, Okay, fine. Who's your favorite singer? Who? Who is your favorite singer? ¿Quién es su cantante favorito? Um, no, no, no sabría de, de decirlo. Eh. Too many, muchos. Yeah, okay, okay. 
Oh, bravo. Well, that's nice. That's nice. Your question is nice. The only thing, lo único malo es que se me adelantó. That was part of the practice that we were going to do. Es parte de la práctica que, de lo que vamos a hacer más tarde. But it, it's nice. It's nice. Great. Thank you, Braulio. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. And see you. Maria Teresa. Hello. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, that's okay, teacher. Okay. How was your day? Um, my day was very good. ¿Cómo se está tranquilo? Calm, slow. Slow. Sí, yes, slow. Oh. Tuve visita. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Entonces, estuvo tranquilo en la cartera. Oh, that's nice, that's nice. I have to visit es, o cómo sería tu no, visita? I have, I have visitors. I have visitors. No. Okay, so you were happy, you got a prize. Mm, that's nice. Yeah, that's why you got a big smile on your face. <laughs> Always. <laughs> That's always. nice. That's a good attitude. Always is, is, is como they say, smile. Smile is for the sonrisa. I am always smiling. I, I, I am always smile. 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 Smiling. Smiling. In this smiling. Case. Oh, that's smiling. nice. Okay. Now, the difference is this. The difference is You can say, I always smile. Hold on. Uh, uh, uh. I always smile. Okay, that's I one way. Or you can be more specific, also more specific, and say, I am always smiling. Mm. Now, there's a difference. The difference is like this, like, you know, I, I always smile when I am teaching a class. But the rest of the time, I am serious. But when I'm teaching, I don't know. I enjoy what I do. I, I smile. La dos sí. maneras se pueden decir. I, I am... Yes. Solo que en el primero usted está exponiendo un hecho. Yo siempre sonrío. Mm -hmm. Todo que dependerá a veces de una situación. Like in my case, I always smile when teaching. Yo siempre mm -hmm. sonrío cuando doy clases. Mm -hmm. But the rest of the time, I'm serious. In your case, you tell me that you are always smiling. En su caso, usted me dice que usted siempre, siempre está sonriendo. Okay, that's the difference. You, you say, I am always smiling. That's nice. La segunda soy yo. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. That's great, you know. In your area of, of, of what you do, what you work, it's good. En su área, eso es bueno. I yes. Mean, you make people feel comfortable. And that's great. I mean, that's awesome. Because it helps. It helps a lot. Hey, Maria Teresa, welcome. Nice having you here. Thank you, teacher. Hey, guys, let me get the attendance, please. Ana Maritza Flores Cervellón. Present. Angelica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Raulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Present, teacher. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Present. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Thank you, Brian. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sáez. Present. Karen de Sirem en Jibar de Sánchez. Katherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. 
present teacher. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubías. Present teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanegas Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. Xiomara Yamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Thank you. Okay, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's continue. Who else is around? Who must I know? Hey, Katia. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Oh, uh, very, very well. Um, hoy salí temprano, pero se dice, quiero ver, I left work early today. Okay. Uh -huh. um, I have got the flu. <laughs> hoy ya I, got, I got the flu. I got the flu, se dice. Um, quiero ver, ¿qué va a decir? Ah, en, en la tarde, en afternoon. Uh, yes. Yes. Quiero ver. Um, enjoy, enjoy my afternoon with a person special or special person. Oh, that's great. Yes, yes. <laughs> that's nice. That's nice. It's always good when you can enjoy. So you have your afternoon free. That's nice. Mm -hmm. Sí. Luego, eh, um, uh, we, we had lunch. We had lunch. No? Okay, what did you have for lunch? Um, comida china, la que me gusta. Oh, yeah, you told me yesterday, right? Sí, yes, yes. Eh, luego, go, go home to rest. Okay, I came home to rest. I can come to rest. Okay, that's nice. Yes, sí, sí. That's excellent. Ya de, después, de, de eh, dinner, dinner, cené y ya estoy en clase. That's good. Sí. Yes, sí. Ese fue mi día. <laughs> Okay, well, it was a good day for you. Thank you very much. Nice having you here. Okay, thank you, teacher. <laughs> excellent, excellent, excellent. Elisa, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. I'm tired, teacher. A long day yes. at work? Mm, sorry. A long day at work? Un día largo en el trabajo? Yes, I work all day. Okay, what time did you finish working? At seven. At seven? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Seven. What time did you start working? Bueno, de hecho, a las siete cerramos, pero salimos como a las como a las siete y media, algo así o más tarde. Wow. And at what time did you start working? Okay, comenzó a trabajar. 
Mm, I start working at mm, nine. Nine. Oh, mm -hmm. Ouch, a long day, very long day. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much and welcome. Okay, teacher. Okay, okay, okay. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Well, let's see. Let's, oh, there's Marvin. Hello, Marvin. Marvin is, was like sneaky. Hi, Marvin, how are you? Good evening, how are you, mister? I'm very good. Okay, how was your day at work? How was your day at work? Yeah, did you go? Yes. Okay, how was your day? Okay. How was your day? How was your day? My day was excellent. I got up at night. Okay. Really? I finish. I go up why I friends to see movie and have coffee. Okay, very nice. <laughs> yes. So oh, it was a cool day for you. Yes. Excellent, excellent. It's always good when you can enjoy your day. What? It's always good when you uh, uh, when you enjoy your day. Es bueno cuando se disfruta. Yes, he repeat class English. It is always good when you enjoy your day. Como fue, como fue. <laughs> like this, look. It's always good when you enjoy your day. Like this. It is a way called when you enjoy your day. Siempre es bueno cuando disfruta su día. Yes. Más cuando uno duerme en mamba. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, sometimes, because in my case, if I sleep too much in the morning, yo si duermo muy tarde, if I stay in bed till late, at night I cannot sleep. No puedo dormir por la noche. That's Así me pasa a mí, pero... Pero tengo sí con neural. <laughs> Por si no okay. puedo dormir. Uh, you know. Well, in my case, for a while, I was taking pills for sleeping. I was with medication for a couple of years. For a couple of years, but I was taking, a, well, I was mixing amitriptylina with something else. Exacto. No, yo para poder dormir un cafecito. Oh, nice. yes. It's good. Now nice. that's what I do. Hoy en día eso lo tengo. It helps me a lot. I take one cup of coffee before sleeping and I sleep peacefully. Yes, yes. Hey, Marvin. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Brian, Brian, are you available? Yellow piece. Okay, can you participate? Yes? Yes. Okay, perfect. Hello, Brian. How are you? So-so. Uh, So-so. Why, my friend? Sí, un, po un poco mejor. Ya, un poco mejor. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, you told me that you got the flu, right? That's uncomfortable. Well, we hope you make a good recovery. 
desktop uh, you make a good record esperamos que tenga una buena recuperación we hope you make a good recovery yeah having the flu is so uncomfortable man that's terrible and for us men is horrible y para nosotros los hombres es terrible it's horrible 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 women don't believe it la mujer no lo creen that the flu is stronger for us a nosotros nos da más fuerte that's a fact Sí, demasiado, más que recién iba saliendo de, de entrenar y por lo que lo caliente. Oh, yeah. It's, that's terrible. Very, very terrible. That's just horrible. Yeah. But let's hope everything turns out okay for you. Thank you very much and welcome. Thank you, Tisha. Okay, let's see, let's see. Mm. Well, welcome all of you. Welcome, Milton, Claudia. Uh, welcome, everybody. Shumara, welcome. Nice having you here. Let's see. Let's see. We are going to jump. Good evening. Thank you. A, a pleasure, a pleasure to have you here. Okay, guys. Uh, 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 uh. We are going to start working first with the manual. Primero, con el manual. We have a couple of exercises to do. And let me share with you. Okay, here we go. How to use simple present information questions. This is, uh, we continue with yesterday's topic, okay? Information questions. What does she do on Saturday and Sunday? Where does he go on Tuesday's afternoon? Which department does our boss supervise? What time does Miguel start to work? If you remember, I was telling you that the structure is the same. We are just adding the WH question right at the beginning. The only thing we do different is the WH at the beginning. The only thing we do different is the WH at the beginning. The answers, what does she do on Saturday and Sunday? She visits other companies and has meetings. Where does he go on Tuesdays afternoon? He goes to the company's headquarters. Which department does our boss supervise? Our boss supervises the marketing department. What time does Miguel start to work? Miguel starts to work at nine o'clock. Questions about vocabulary, guys? Is there any question? Nope, okay, exercise. We have to create questions with the words provider, okay? We got why he have a meeting, where she process the payments, what Ingrid do on Wednesdays, when employee acquire the raw material. Questions about this vocabulary. Do you know what is raw material? When we say raw material, we are saying uh, materia prima, okay? And acquire means adquirir. So what are you going to do? Create questions with the words. You need to create the questions. So this is the first activity. For this, you are going to have for minutes, you're going to be working in groups of three members. And some of you are going to be working in pairs, but that's fine. Groups are created, let's do it. For minutes.
Ahí está. Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher, ¿verdad que es de armar la estructura de la oración así como nos la había dado? Yeah, you need to make the question. Hay que hacer la pregunta. Yo le di la estructura que hacer las preguntas. Lo único que agregamos distinto es que la WH va al inicio. Antes de la estructura normal. La estructura para una pregunta es auxiliary, subject, verb, complement, question mark. Entonces la primera sería W y después dos, dos. Auxiliary. Ok. We do he have a meeting. Así sería la primera. Where that? Yeah. Yeah. Y la última. Just la why. Pregunta. Why. Remember it's why. why. Y la última donde dice when. Eso, es, eso es, ¿Qué significaba when? ¿Cuándo? Es, es pregunta. ¿Cuándo? Ah. Ah, vaya. Bueno, Entonces. La, Marvin. Employees. Sí, va. Sí, entonces la primera, la uno. ¿Cuál? ¿Dos? ¿Dos en o dos? ¿Cómo se pronuncia bien? ¿Cuál? 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 A meeting. Why? Remember, why? 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 Why, why does he no, have, why? He have a meeting? Have a me uh -huh, meeting. Uh, la segunda sería where does where does she process the payment? No. Where, where, where does she process the Payments. Payments, ah, ¿qué significa Peter? Payments, pagos. Ah, ah es la que procesa o cuándo procesa los pagos, hey, algo así dice. Yeah. Ah, madre. Oui. ah, pues sería la segunda. Está copiando, Katy. Ahí. Sí. Sí, ahí. Mire, me podría hacer el favor de repetirme la dos. Bye. Dice, where, where does, ajá, she process, she, the payments, ajá, voy a ir andar con malita de la gripe, ay, sí, hoy sí, estoy fregada, <ríe> todos estos días no se lo había desarrollado, payment, la tres, ah. la tres, ah, la tres sería, mm. Esa yo creo que se deja como Ingrid el nombre en vez de ocupar Chiva. Ah. Entonces, eh, ¿Cuál? Sería, no. Chiva. Guida, no que ver. Sería Wednesday es, es día. Es, es, ¿Qué dice ahí? ¿Cuándo? ¿Cuándo va sí. Ingrid va ¿Cuándo miércoles? Va? Algo así. Vamos a ver qué significa. Esa está fácil y la que no va a What? ¿Cuándo Ingrid? ¿Tú significa? Tú. Hacer. Dice, hacer. When does Ingrid? When does Ingrid? Do. When. When does Ingrid do? Uh, ¿Qué día? De, el miércoles descansa Ingrid. Oh. Así sería en español. En pregunta. The question. The question. What does, what does Ingrid do on Wednesday? ¿Qué hace Ingrid los miércoles? What uh, does Ingrid do on Wednesday? Uh, Ingrid do on Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday. Wednesday. Prima, dijo él. Hi, teacher. Hello. Teacher, una pregunta acá, ¿verdad? Que el das es un auxiliar, ¿verdad? Yep. 
Entonces, el más de ese auxiliar siempre va a ir antes del sujeto, es lo que yo entiendo. Yes, yes. ¿Es correcto? Okay. Yeah. Siempre y ah. cuando estemos hablando de él o de ella. Ajá, ya ven. En, en todo caso, la última sería, when does employ acquire the raw okay, material? Okay. No, porque... When, when, when does the uh -huh. employee... Tiene que agregar ah, the de... employee. Tiene oh. que agregar... El sí. empleado o la empleada. Ajá. Uh -huh. Acquire the, new ma the raw material. Ok, give me a second. Uy, perdón. Como dijo la última, Gaby, when does the, the employee, employee acquire the raw material? Mm. Que sería el empleado, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Employee acquire. Cuando los empleados adquieren la materia prima, sería la... Sí. Pero ahí siempre llevaría el DAS. Sí, cuando... Ok, hello. And drink Let's coffee. See. Oh, no, right now no coffee. You are drinking coffee. Oh, so nice. ¿Por qué? Oh, they don't want me drinking coffee now. No quieren que tome mucho café. I drink a lot. Ok. Let's see, let's see, let's continue. Okay, we got the questions here. Let's see. Okay. Who's gonna start? Braulio, number one, tell me. Um, number one. I lose your microphone, Braulio. Hello, hello. Sí, perdón. Okay, no, tell, me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Eh, 
Uh, number one, why? Mm -hmm. Why does he have a, meet, a, a meeting? Okay, why does he have a meeting? Perfect. And the question mark. Excellent. Thank you very much, Barry. Thank you, teacher. Okay, number two. Goes to um, Catherine, number two. <laughs> well, with that, she process department, department. The payments. The payments. Where does, where does she process? Where does she process? The payment. Process the payment. Process the payment. Perfect. Thank you, teacher. No, thanks to you. Where does she process the payments? Next one, let's see. <laughs> Maria Teresa, number three. Uh, what does Okay. Oops. My bad. What does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? On Wednesdays. Perfect. Okay. Let's see. Atenas number four. When do employees acquire the raw materials? Okay, look, Athena. When does the employee acquire the raw, raw, raw. material? When does the employee acquire the raw material? Okay, perfect. Let me read them for you again, guys. Why does he have a meeting? Where does she process the payments? What does Ingrid do on Wednesdays? When does the employee acquire the raw material? Questions? Preguntas? No, okay, perfect. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Next exercise. You have to create a conversation with two partners about their daily activities at work. Then ask questions for extra information about someone else's duties. Okay, look at the example. What do you do on Wednesday? I start to work at one o'clock. I prepare the machines and, wow, when does your supervisor check all the things you do? Actually, he checks once a month. And what about you? What do you do? Well, okay, what are you going to do? Create a conversation between three persons. Van a crear una conversación entre tres personas. You're going to use the example given in the manual. Vamos a utilizar el ejemplo que nos da el manual. Okay, this is going to give us the idea. You're going to have 10 minutes for this activity. We are going to have 10 minutes to create a conversation, okay? So the groups are created, let's see, yes. 10 minutes, start now.
eh, que está hablando de, de una persona. Do, do lo utilizamos cuando es I, you, we, they. Ah, I, you, we, they. Y das, eh, he, she, it. Sí, Soy un teacher. Vaya, ok. Vaya, ahorita eh, practiquemos. Ok, español, listen, ¿verdad? listen, listen. Listen, what you are going to do is create your own conversation. Ustedes van a crear su propia conversación. Using the one given as an example. Utilizando esa como un ejemplo. Nosotros vamos a crear nuestra conversación utilizando esto como ejemplo. Yeah, like, what do you do on Wednesdays? Puede ser que usted le pregunte a Brian, what do you do on Wednesday? Y Brian le dice cuáles son las actividades que él hace, las que él realmente hace. Right? Ok. Then you jump to the next question. Luego saltamos la siguiente pregunta. Wow, when does your supervisor check all the things you do? Y él contesta en base a su realidad. Ok. Ok, teacher. Ah, yo creí que a, a practicar y vamos, y vamos a... No. <laughs> Ahí está ya. Ah, bien. Yes, I'm here. Sí, Rem teacher, one question. <laughs> vamos a terminar la conversación. No. Ahora vamos solo a ensayar. No, you are going to create your own. Ustedes van a crear su propia conversación. Like imagine that uh, Katy asks Marvin, Katy le pregunta a Marvin, the first question. Uh, what do you do on Wednesdays, Marvin? Y Marvin le cuenta lo que realmente hace. Mm. Then, luego la otra persona le dice, wow, when does your supervisor check all the things you do? Y él le contesta con la realidad, ok. Got it? Ah, es como un ejemplo, nada más. Yes, exactly. La conversación que nosotros vamos a crear entre nosotros tres. Yep. Ok. Ah. The machine. Ok, remember, you are going to create your own conversation. O sea, van a crear yeah. su conversación. That's just an example, right? Yep. Uh -huh. Ok, yep. perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect, thank you. What about you? Remember, remember, you are creating your own conversation. Acuérdense que están creando su propia conversación, right? Acá ah. se va a responder donde dice, what about you? What do you do? Uh -huh. But you are answering with your, re with your reality, okay? Mm -hmm. With what you really do. Okay, contestan con lo que realmente hacen. Mm -hmm. Vale, quiero ver, pero otros. Teacher, algunas veces. Sometimes. No se podría decir, but others Sundays. No, but sometimes, other days, other days, otros días. No, es que la idea sí, es que ella trabaja sí. un domingo sí, otro no. Ah, Entonces, ok, 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 ok. Hold on. You say it like this. Eso se dice así. <laughs> Ahí estábamos trabados. Ok, every no, other no, Sunday. Oh. Every other Sunday. Eso significa un domingo sí, un domingo no. Ay, <laughs> no. Entonces, para formar la, 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 la oración, oración son, ah. sometimes, to work the every other Sunday. Entiende, teacher. Repeat, please. Repítalo, por favor. Sometimes to work the Sunday every... No. Sometimes no, no, no. to work or every... Sometimes other I work... I work. Sometimes I work every other Sunday. Ándale. Ah, <laughs> Ahora quiero ver... 
Time to work every. Some time to work every other Sunday. Ajá. Vaya, ahora Vaya, y el C. Ajá, so, digamos, puede, puede decir ahí también. ¡Wow! ¿Y, y qué hace el domingo que descansa? <risa> Ajá. Pero Solamente tendríamos que, que poner. Quiero ver cómo podríamos poner. Interes, in, interesante. ¿Y qué hace el domingo? ¿Qué descansa? Sí, también Algo podemos así. poner eso. Ajá. Oh, okay. Pero, ¿cómo pondríamos? Quiero ver. Sería similar. Eh, eh, when, the, when does eh, el day off, creo que era de, cuando descansa. Ajá, sí, el día de descanso. When do you, when do you rest? Simplemente digan, when do you rest? When do you rest? Sí, estoy hablando, solo que no me sí. veo hoy, porque no me agarra la señal. Vaya, entonces ahora, este, ¿qué haces Pero, cuando pues, descansas? English, please. <laughs> When do you rest? When do you rest? Ajá. When do you rest? Cuando tú descansas, eh, el domingo sería. Uh -huh. Pues. Podemos poner ahí en la B. Este. What do you do? Así sería. When Pero do you sería. rest the Sunday? What do you do? O sea, cuando descansa los domingos, ¿qué hace? You can say it, puede decirlo, what do you do on your day off? ¿Qué hace en su día libre? <laughs> ok. What do you do on day off? Karen, I got you. No se me vaya. Ya la asignó un grupo. Teacher, no sé qué pasa. Solo sale como que yo estoy. No, no, no. no. Es que estamos en los grupos. Ah, ok. Perto. You are going to be as a listener, right? Va a estar solo escuchando. Ok. Por, sí. ¿Por qué you participate? ¿Por puedo participar? Dice que ahorita voy de camino para la casa porque ya salí de la... Es que estábamos okay. en oración. Porque... Just Pero let me know. Hay... Solo me avisa. Empiezo siendo cámara. Perfecto, perfecto. Ok, gracias. The I clean the uh, I clean the case 
Showcase. Quiero ver. Cómo... Ya, ajá, sí. Showcase. Ah, es, gracias. Lava ropa. Washing. Ready? La laundry. Washing. Clothes. Doing the laundry. Doing the laundry. Do the laundry. Que va a ir al laundry, dice. <laughs> Do the laundry. Para, para lavar ropa no es, es washing clothes. Sí, but it's better if you say do the laundry. La diferencia es esta. Eh, usted puede decir wash the clothes. Pero si usted dice do the laundry, eh, suena, suena más nativo, suena mejor. Suena más correcto. Es lo como la gente lo dice. Vaya. Ya tengo el de hoy sigue. Vaya, entonces ahora va a. Allí tenemos que tengo que formular por lo menos unas dos preguntas, ¿verdad? Eh, no porque casi quiero ver actualmente eh. digamos que yo soy la preguntona <risa> pregunte pues vaya vamos a ver un minuto un minuto ahí mío. dice ¿Y qué haces tú? Uh -huh. Ay, no, ay, sí, ya me... Vaya, digamos, digamos, vaya, como, este, Angélica dice, yo en mi día descanso, lavo, voy a la iglesia y todo, duermo, ¿verdad? Ay, day Ajá. off, y luego, ¿y qué? Ajá, usted me pregunta a mí, en what about you? Puedo dejar esa misma en What About You. What About You. No, no estamos copiando textual, pero eh, algunas frases sí coinciden. Por ejemplo, para, con, para preguntarme a mí qué hago yo. Uh -huh. Ajá, como es de tres. Como que primero me pregunta a mí y después. Ajá, me pregunta, es después correcto. Ella dice a mí que otra vez, ¿qué haces? Ok. ¿Y tú qué Entonces haces? puedo poner en what about you, en what do you do en Sunday. Ah, ajá, o, o puede poner eh, en what, what about you in your day off. ¿Qué in haces your... tú en tu, tiempo, en tu día libre? Day off, ajá. Day. Eso sería lo único y ahí respondería usted. Ajá, y así correspondo yo. Y sería la C. Eh, quiero ver. Go to the supermarket. Okay. Ah, hago bastantes cosas, pero vamos a resumir. Eh, puedo poner clean my house, aunque creo que me dijo que era diferente. Para hacer las tareas del hogar. And rest. Uh, eh, sería go to the supermarket in my house and rest. And rest. Uh -huh. Y descanso. <laughs> finish. Creo que sí, finish. Repeat. Practice 60.
See, everybody's coming. Okay, guys, let me get the second attendance, please. Ana Maritza Flores Arbello. Present. Angélica Guadalupe Tobar de Mergar. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Present, teacher. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Present, teacher. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Present. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Todos se ven hermosos con el... Present, teacher. Gabriela Guadalupe Celayas. Gabriela Guadalupe Celayas Sayas. Thank you. Karen de Sire Menjibar de Sánchez. Katherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Present, teacher. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present, teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present, teacher. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present, teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Present, teacher. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. And Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Present, yo no escuché. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Xiomara. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's continue. Let's see who's going to be the first group. Okay, Angelica, Atenas, and Rebecca. Please perform your conversation. Okay. What do you do on Sunday? Sometimes I work um, every other Sunday. Really? What do you do on day off? I day off, go to school and I sleep and do the laundry. And what about you and your day off? In my day off, go to the supermarket, clean my house and rest. Finish. Perfect. Very well done. Excellent pronunciation, ladies. Congratulations. Well, well done. Okay, next. Ana Maritza, Brian, Xiomara. Okay, teacher. What do you do Wednesday, Brian? Brian. Hola, hola. Es, tengo mala conexión de internet, no escucho cuando me hablan. Este, sí, sí, sí. Vamos nosotros. Yes. Uh, Start again, Ana Maritza. Excuse me. Comienza nuevo. Ok. What do you do on um, Wednesday? Uh, I go to the jeans at 5.30 At 5.30 uh, I pay for a coffee chip mm. uh, I start my work at 18 o'clock Wow when that wow when does your uh, logis assist assistant check our reception and distribution of product uh, actuality 
every day? At what you uh, would uh, uh, what? What, what do you what do you do tomorrow? Xiomara, Xiomara, Xiomara. What do you, Xiomara? Hello, teacher. No, hasta ahí nos quedamos. Okay, perfect, perfect. Excellent, very well done. Product, Xiomara, product. Okay. Okay, product. And Ana Maritza, about, what about you? What about you? What? What? What about you? What about you? Yeah, what about you? Okay, perfect. Thank you. Catherine, Katia, Marby, KKM. Ooh. Okay. Está listo, Marby. Stop. <laughs> yes. Profe, solo para comenzar, ¿cómo se pronuncia la palabra weekday? Wednesday. 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 Ah, Wednesday. 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 Okay. El lapicero, pero ok. Eh, ya. Yes. Yeah, please. Yeah. What do you do, do on Wednesday? The first thing I do is mark, check, image, and Go when do your supervisor check at the failure you do? My supervisor comes three times a week to reply what we do. And what about you? What do you do? Uh, well, I sell her, check the mail, write, read the report, and check the staff. Oh, really? And, and check staff. And. And check, and check staff. Yeah, ten minutes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, I'm telling you and because you were so excited, Katia, that you said E. So, E. Iba tan emocionada que en lugar de decir and, dijo E. I lost it. Sorry. No problem. No problem. Well done. Well done, guys. Thank you very much. Gabriela and Maria Teresa. What do you do on weekday? I usually start work at 7 a.m. First, I turn on the computer after uh, it checks. I, after I check in, click the pharmacy and send picture. Later, open the pharmacy and do customer service all day. And and you, Gabriela, what do you do at, in at the at court? Well, I start to work at nine o'clock. I do inventory, clean showcase, send deliveries, and uh, sell. Ah, uh, here we go. Medicines? Yep. Perfect. Excellent job. Perfect pronunciation. Great, ladies. Thank you. Now, Braulio, Elisa, and Esmeralda. Yes. Can we start? Estoy here. Okay. Yes, Esmeralda. Uh... What do you do on Wednesday? I'm working in charge of distribution. Wow. When does you su your supervisor check all the things you do? Uh, every day. Thank 
Okay. Eh, I And what about you? What do you do? I share, I share the pain to the clients because I am a cashier. Okay, cashier, Elisa, cashier. Cashier. Cashier, okay. Okay. Perfect, thank you very much. Let's see. Next activity. Next activity, guys. It's like this. Uh, questions. Do you like listening to music? What's your favorite type of music? Who is your favorite singer or band? Look at those three questions. Do you like listening to music? What's your favorite type of music? Who is your favorite singer or band? You are going to ask those questions to each other. Se la van a hacer esas preguntas. Okay? Working in groups. Do you like listening to music? What's your favorite type of music? Who's your favorite singer or band? Okay? Now I'm going to send the questions also to the group. So you can have them ready. And let's see. You're going to have five minutes, five minutes. Okay, that's it, five minutes. Ask and answer in English. Answers in English, okay? Unless, a menos que, the name of the band is in Spanish, al menos que el nombre del grupo sea en español, you say it in Spanish, okay? So, let's do it. Claudia. Claudia, good evening. Hello. Can, can you participate? Puede participar? Hola. Puede participar en la actividad? Bye. Okay, I will send you to a group. La voy a enviar a un grupo, okay? It's very simple, so I go move fast. Oh. Hey, ladies. Oh, look, Hi, there's teacher. Claudia here with you. There's Claudia here with you. Claudia no va a activar la cámara porque uh, El ancho de banda le está dando lío, ¿ok? Ok. Ve, la última pregunta, Mari. Uh -huh. Ay, no. Oh. Oh. Digamos que sometimes. Para decir variado, teacher. 
Beryl. Beryl. Vaya, yo igual no escucho no seguido. Solo alguna vez. Borrarlo. Entonces, este. Vamos a ir, va. Vaya, what's your favorite? Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Time. What? Time. What? What's your What's your favorite time of music? What's your favorite time for? Or how do you pronounce? Type. 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 You can say type or you can say what's your favorite kind. Esto significa lo mismo. What's your favorite kind of music? Kind. Okay. Tipo clase. Vaya Rebeca. Vaya Rebeca. What is your favorite kind of music? Heavy metal, she said. My favorite type of music is baladas en inglés. Okay. Oh. Baladas en inglés. Okay. Who's your favorite singer? Music of eighteen. Yeah, but who's your favorite singer? ¿Quién es su cantante favorito? Or band? Dance and Roll. <laughs> okay, Dance and Roses was heavy metal. You know. They have a few ballads. También una cuenta balada, but they were heavy metal. Y baladas así igual se escribe o se pronuncia. Balads. Balads. Yeah, balads. Balads English. Balads. Sí. In English. En English. Sí. What's your favorite type of music, Atena? Sí. Sí. No tengo una en específico. Ok, what type eh, of music do you listen to? Pero si me gusta, quiero ver. En su cuaderno artística desarrolle una plana de cada dibujo. Oh. Oh. <ríe> es breve, es la misma con la vela. Oh. Mm. En... Who's your favorite singer then? Es que en realidad la música no mucho. You don't like music? Ay. Me too. Me here. Ok, no, cuando es negativo no decimos me too, decimos me neither. Me neither. Lo que pasa es que también es afirmativo, tampoco es negativo. Okay. Neither means tampoco. So, me neither. You are killing me here. I love music. <laughs> Yo puedo pasar oh, semanas y semanas sin escuchar música. <laughs> no way. Oh, you know, I love, like, for dancing, I love salsa. Para bailar me gusta la salsa. And that salsa is my favorite for dancing. Then comes merengue and then bachata. Let's see. For listening, I love rock, heavy, like black metal, death metal, uh, doom. And, but I also enjoy uh, uh, classical music. There's a, couple, there's a couple of operas that I love. I am una super canta. I enjoy a lot listening to Trova. I like the, the old Trova. Uh, one of my favorite singers is Sabina, Joaquin Sabina. I listen to almost any, any kind of music. With the exception of Perreo. I hate that thing. Reggaeton is not for me. Bueno, yo ni no 
There you know. Karen was telling me Karen cannot participate because she's traveling, but she told me that she enjoys dancing, you know, reggaeton and stuff. <laughs> Karen's yeah. gonna be mad at me. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Y en el caso que contestemos así que alguna vez y que no tengamos cantante ni banda favorita. I don't have a favorite. I don't have a favorite one. I don't have a favorite one. Okay. Eh, no tengo un favorito. I don't have a favorite. Así yeah. es. Who, who is your favorite? Is your favorite singer, singer, or band, or by band, 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 band. band. perfect, band. perfect, perfect. Okay. Entonces yo podría decir I like um, Maroon Five and 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 to uh, uh, Sharon. Uh, and oh, you must listen to Anarchy, Nightwish. That's good <laughs> music. Ana me va a decir ya. <laughs> yeah, of course. Terion. Oh my gosh. Temerarion. <laughs> No, teacher. no way, sir. Yeah. Teacher, eh, eh, someone teléfono, hear eh. about eh, uh, yeah. uh, 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 Shine Down. Shine Down is good. Shine Down, Shine Down. Uh -huh. Acceptable. <laughs> I love a uh, cradle, cradle of filth. I like cradle. Mm, you are well, like my, my boyfriend. <laughs> in my case, in my case, it varies. In my case, varia because it depends on the type of music. I like almost everything. Me gusta casi todo. Mm. But of course, of course, of course, there are depending on the on the depending on the genre. I have my favorite ones. Mm -hmm. Like uh, if we are talking about uh, Doom, I like uh, theater of tragedies. My favorite theater of tragedies. My favorite. Then perhaps Nightwish. And if we are talking about uh, power, power metal, uh, I I love Maiden. If we are talking about, but I like also Trova. I, I like la, the old Trova. I like, uh, I enjoy listening to Silvia Rodriguez. One of my favorite singers is Joaquin Sabina. I also like uh, classical music. So in my case, I like almost everything. Uh, and I enjoy dancing, so I love listening to salsa. Me gusta bailar, escucho salsa. I dance salsa, so it varies, Maria. Okay, guys, it's time. Let's go.
Necesitamos más tiempo. Yes. Cierto, cierto. No way, José. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I gave you a lot. Let's see. I know you enjoy talking to each other, but no. Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. Hi, teacher. Hello. Hello, Rebecca. Do you like uh, listening to music? Yes, I do. Okay, tell me, what's your favorite kind of music? But uh, in English. Yes, what's your favorite kind of music? Oh, English ballads. Nice. What's English your favorite practice. group or band? Guns and Rose. Okay, cool. My favorite singer in Guns and Rose. Así tengo okay. que my favorite group or my favorite band? Mm -hmm. My favorite. My favorite song was in Rose. Así. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, Rebecca. Eh, yes, tell me. Faltó cual canción. <laughs> okay. If you like ballads, what? November Rain, Patience. My, what's, your, my favorite, what's your favorite song? November Rain. Ah, yeah, I know. I know. It's cool. <laughs> I remember when that came out. Yo recuerdo cuando salió. It's part of the illusion, yeah. Well, it was included in the illusion, illusion one and two. 1990 something, or in the 90s, early 90s. Yeah. I was listening to rock at that time. Okay, let's see. Now, Rebecca. I need you to ask those questions. Necesito que usted le pregunte ahora. Tú, Elisa. Tell me, Tisha. Rebecca is going to ask you. Rebecca le va a preguntar. Okay. Okay. Do you do you like listen to music? Elisa. Yeah. yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. What's your favorite type of music? My favorite type of gospel music. What? <laughs> gospel, gospel. Uh, okay, gospel let me. Music. Her favorite, yeah, is gospel, música cristiana. Uh -huh. oh. That's gospel. Very good. What is your go is your favorite singer or band? My favorite singer is Alexander Campos. I I listen. Oh no, I to listen. I to listen. Ahí tú dices. Yo también he escuchado. Ok. <laughs> Finish, teacher. Ok, perfecto. Thank you. Eh, María Teresa, please ask uh, Claudia. Ok. Eh, Claudia, do you like listening to music? Claudia. Se me olvidó como tenía que decir yo. Yes, I do. Yes. Or no, I don't. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo? Repítamelo, por favor. Afirmativo o negativo? Afirmativo o negativo? Afirmativo. Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do. What's your favorite type, type of music? Uh, ahí me está preguntando de qué tipo de música, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. Yep. Uh, pero no sé cómo decir romántica. En... I like romantic. 
Romantic. I like romantic music. I like romantic music. Yes. And who is who is your favorite singer who? or band? Who? 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 Who is your your favorite singer or band? ¿Cuál es mi artista, va? Sí. Yep. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Ana Gabriel. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, both of you. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Esmeralda, please ask the questions to Atenas. Okay. Um, Atenas, do you like listening to music? Sometimes. Oh, what, what's your favorite type of music? I don't have a favorite. Because I don't like the music. Porque no le gusta la música. Yes. No, no me gusta. That's so bad. Oh my God. No lo puedo creer. <laughs> I don't <not> believe. <laughs> okay, okay, entonces... No, no sé. No, no more question. Thank yeah, you. No. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now let's see, let's see. Brian. Hello, Brian. Hello, Brian, can you ask please to uh, uh, um, ask Catherine? Um, Catherine, do you Hello. like to music? Yes, I do. What's your favorite, what you favorite say of music? My favorite is music classic. <laughs> La música clásica. Oh, okay. Your favorite is sing. What concert? No, what is yeah, who's your favorite? Oh, well, in this case, it's not singer. If it's, uh, 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 what's your favorite song or who's your favorite composer? No entendí, no escuché. ¿Quién es su compositor favorito? Um, pues, um, Carla Morrison. My favorite singer band, Carla Morrison. Okay. Nice. Thank you, Brian. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Catherine. Okay, okay, now, Gabriela, where's Gabriela? Gabriela, I need you to ask Atenas. Atenas, do you like listening to music? Sometimes. <laughs> What's your favorite type of music? Mm. Oh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Gabriela. Atenas already participated. Estaba viendo otro listado, no la lista de esta. I'm sorry, my bad. It's just that I'm checking every time I check who's participated or not. Gabriela, I need you to please ask. Más que no cuesta Katia. manejar el carro. No, it doesn't. Le agarras más que la moto. All right. Okay, es... Gabriela, ask Katia. Katia, do you like listening to music? Yes, I do. What's your favorite type of music? My favorite type is Vallenato. All right. Who is your favorite singer or band? Uh, my favorite singer is Carlos Vives. Okay. I like okay. to. Uh, Finish. Vives is good. Yeah. It's good, it's good. I like uh, Polo Montañez. Good one. Mm. It's a very good one. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Now, thank let's you. see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Ana Maritza, please ask Marvin. Okay. Yo pregunto. Yep. No, que me pregunte Marvin. Okay, Marvin. Ask Ana Maritza, okay? Activate your microphone, Marvin, please. Sorry. <laughs> do you like listen to music? Yes, I do. 
What's your favorite type of music? Um, my favorite lay, like Héroe del, Héroe del Silencio. My favorite. What is your favorite singer of band? Uh, perdón, la, la segunda, eh, I, uh, favorite like rock en eh, español. Oh, what is your favorite singer of band? Um, I have seven, seven bands, for example, example um, Héroe del Silencio, Rata Blanca, La felicito, Nia Marixa. Yeah. Thank you. Excelente música. Yes. Yo yeah. recomiendo a María Brin in this moment. Yeah, well, the, for me, Ana Marixa, the best album was Senderos de Traición. Beautiful. Beautiful album. Excellent. Yes. Yes. Let's see. 1993, El Silencio came to El Salvador. I remember. Yes, muy buena banda. Yeah, pretty good ones. I enjoyed them. Thank you. Let's see who's missing. Who's missing? Yo sé que me falta. Let's see. Oh, Xiomara and Angelica. Let's see, Xiomara, please ask Angelica. Okay, teacher, um, Angelica, yes. do you like, do you like listening to music? Sometimes. What's your favorite type of music? Uh, I don't know favorite type. What is your favorite sing singer or band? I don't know. I have favorite singer or band. Okay. Okay. Very well done, guys. Thank you, Yeah, well, I don't know if you have noticed, but uh, perhaps like a 90% of this class has been you speaking in English. If you have realized, we have done different activities and the use of Spanish in the interaction we have is less. And that's the object to use, to decrease the use of Spanish in the class. Uh, congratulations, very well done. I know that we still need to work in pronunciation, in vocabulary, but I mean, we are, we are making a pretty good advance. Uh, we have reached like the, almost the 70% of the course. And in my case, I am pretty satisfied with your development. So I'm satisfied with your advance, okay? With your improvements. And I know that some of you have already studied English before, it shows, say que algunos ya han estudiado inglés antes, se denota. But uh, still, we are getting new vocabulary, we are getting new words, we are practicing, that's very important. And everybody's making a good effort. Now, something that I need to remind you, algo que necesito recordarles, y voy a ser muy enfático en esto, lo haré en español, solo será dos minutos. Les recuerdo pues, que este, la asistencia es muy, muy importante. Estamos en algunos casos, eh, yo he sido empático y les he dicho directamente a las personas, mire, usted me puede faltar que media clase, no more, because we need to reach a certain, uh, necesitamos un cierto porcentaje. Usted puede tener... Los tres requisitos que nos piden SAFOR para que usted apruebe el curso son encuesta de satisfacción, el 80% de nota en la plataforma, 
y el 80% de asistencia. Esa forma cuenta los minutos. Entonces, es muy importante el que estemos pendientes de eso. Eh, el día de mañana voy a revisar cómo van los porcentajes de nuevo, lo hago diario. Eh, por eso les escribo algunos directamente, les recuerdo que nos conectemos. Muy, muy importante eso. Le voy a estar diciendo aquellos casos que, que aún no les he mencionado y que necesitan una cierta cantidad de asistencias mínimas para llegar a ese porcentaje, se lo voy a mencionar. Ahora bien, les recuerdo, esto es muy importante y que nosotros no descuidemos el curso. Eh, bueno, no sé cómo serán algunas compañías. But, uh, but please, do not forget the attendance, very important. And besides that, if you are in the class, you take advantage of everything from the class. Usted está en la clase, aprovecha de la clase. And that's the idea, right? For you to make the most out of the class. Remember, as I told you, this is a, an intensive course. Este es un curso intensivo. It's great for you guys. I mean, you're having a good opportunity. This in the market is quite expensive. Esto es muy caro en el mercado. Really expensive. So, take advantage of it. And believe me, uh, here you will encounter pretty nice teachers. Acaban de encontrar muy buenos maestros. I mean, better than me, with better pronunciation, even better, with better pronunciation than me. I mean, uh, with a lot of experience, very good professionals, and the idea is to help you. But you need to do your part, and your part is quite simple, being here, trying to be here on time, listening to the class. If you cannot participate, at least listening, si no puede participar. Because of your situations, because of situations, or because of the connection, a veces la conexión, at least listen. I told you, uh, sometimes the, the, the bandwidth is pretty slow. A veces el ancho de es muy lento. You can turn off your camera for a little while. Puede apagar su cámara por un momento. That helps. But the idea is, at least to be listening, you are practicing. Al menos al escuchar está practicando. But try to do your best. And don't forget, the attendance is very important. And I always try to connect before A. Siempre estoy conectado unos minutos antes. So if you want to connect before, perfect. Si quiere conectarse unos minutos antes, great. We can practice more. Okay? Podemos practicar más. If not, you can ask Gabriela. Si no, pronto, Gabriela. She's always pretty early. Sometimes we speak like 10 minutes. And practice in English. And that's the idea. Let's try to practice, practice and practice. Don't feel afraid and don't feel uh, ashamed. No tengan miedo y no tengan pena. I mean, I have heard everything. Up to now, I have heard everything. I mean, there's nothing that that really, really, like, I get like, what? What is she saying? What is he saying? Why not? You can say, ¿Qué están diciendo? It's normal. I mean, you're learning. That's why you're here. Estamos aquí para aprender, ¿no? And part of learning, you know, is making mistakes. Y parte de aprender es cometer errores. So, don't feel afraid of making mistakes. No tenga miedo de equivocarse. That's the first thing that you need to forget about. Es lo primero que debemos olvidar. Don't feel afraid of making a mistake. Deje miedo lejos. Okay? Don't feel ashamed. Que no le dé pena. Look, you have a very good advantage. Tiene una ventaja. You belong to the same company. Pertenecen a la misma compañía. I mean, some of you know each other. Algunos de ustedes se conocen entre sí. That's cool because you feel like in a better environment, se sienten en un ambiente más de confianza. And that helps. I mean, believe me, if you are if you are in a class and you don't know nobody, it affects. Si usted está en una clase y no conoce a nadie, you feel like, oh, it feels weird. But you know some of the people that is here. Some of you are co-workers. Algunos de ustedes son compañeros. 
compañero de trabajo. Work perhaps in the same branch. So it helps. That's an advantage you have over other people that is in other courses. Es una ventaja que tienen por sobre otras personas que están en otros cursos. So make the most out of it. Hagamos lo mejor. But let's make it in the good way. Which is the good way? If you, when we are in the breakout rooms, I know some of you finish fast. Yo sé que algunos de ustedes terminan rápido cuando estamos en los breakout rooms. Faster than others. Más rápido que otros. Take advantage and practice. Aprovechemos el tiempo y practiquemos. Make normal questions, easy questions. Hagamos preguntas normales, las básicas. The ones that I do at the beginning. The idea is for you to practice them. I mean, let's try to talk the most. Tratemos de hablar todo lo posible. Because this chance you have, it's something very good. It's nice, it's great. Es grandioso la oportunidad que tiene. As I told you, you are doing well. Están haciendo bien. Eh, van bien. And that's what I'm writing in the, in the in your evaluations. Y es lo que estoy poniendo en su evaluación. I mean, I know that it's difficult for some, but I also uh, write about, uh, report about the, your your enthusiasm. Yo sé que le cuesta, pero igual también parte de mi reporte incluye mencionar el entusiasmo que le ponemos. Are willing are you to participate? Cuánto participamos? Okay, and that's that's good. Everything helps, even the mistakes. Todo sirve en este nivel. A estas alturas todo nos sirve. A unos errores. I told you before. Ya se lo he mencionado. A veces el error que usted comete sirve para que el otro compañero que quizás comete el mismo error diga, oh, I need to fix this. Debo de cambiar esto, lo estoy diciendo mal. So, don't feel afraid, ¿ok? And with me, at all. Conmigo, para nada. That's my job. And I like it. ¿Ok? Y me gusta. I enjoy helping you. Disfruto ayudarles. It's, it's what I like. I mean, it's, it's my thing, es lo mío. So, Let's continue and, but please, attendance, assistance. That's pretty important. I mean, I cannot help you if you are not here. No puedo ayudarles si no están acá. Okay? Thank you. I'm sorry if I'm like a pontificating, perdón si es suena como un discurso, but my biggest desire is for you to continue and to make the most out of learning English. Mi mayor deseo es que ustedes continúen y que logremos lo mejor, okay? Let me get the final attendance. Oh, and also guys, también, if there's something that you feel is not working for you, se siente que hay algo que como que, ay, mire, así no me gusta, siento que ese tipo de actividades no funciona, you can text me anytime and I will look for something that works better for you. ¿Cómo pueden escribirme y comentarme? Yo busco por más actividades que le funcionen, okay? Let's see. Attendance. Ana Maritza Flores Cervellón. Angelica Guadalupe. Thank you. Angelica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Present. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Present. Elisa Saray Martínez Ramírez. Present. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Present, teacher. Gabriela Guadalupe Salaya Sayas. Present. Karen de Siria Menjibar de Sánchez. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Present, teacher. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. Present, teacher. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present teacher. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca de Carmen Morales Molina. Present teacher. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. 
Soy Mara Shamilet, Mendoza, Mendoza. Present teacher. Thank you very much. Uh, Rebecca, please stay a second. Rebecca, un segundito. Thank you, guys. Have a nice, have a good night. See you tomorrow. Rest. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. Good night. Bye, Brian. Hope you get bye, better. Teacher. Bye, Claudia. Xiomara, perhaps tomorrow you can stay a little bit. Ahora, teacher. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yes, Mañana puedo. Please. Okay. Thank okay, you. Um. Let's see. Okay. Rebecca. Hello. I cannot hear you. Your microphone, please. No le escucho. No me mía, tío. Ok, Rebeca. Veamos, estos 10 minutos son para ver este, cómo vamos, cómo sentimos la clase. ¿Hay algún punto en el que yo le pueda ayudar? Pues ahorita, por el momento, todo, todo bien. Todo blue. All ok. Blue. Ok, that's great, that's great. Este, bueno. En su caso, eh, vamos trabajando muy bien. Escucho mejoría en la pronunciación, eh, lo cual es bueno. Just a recommendation, una recomendación. Eh, whenever there's not some, there's something you can, you don't know how to say it. Cuando hay algo que usted no sepa decirlo, tell me. Pero quiero que usted lo hace, pero quiero que deje de usarme las frases que está usando en español. Quiero que me pregunte de esta manera. Okay. Me va a decir, how do you say? Like, how do you say casa? Y yo le voy a decir, oh, home, house. Ok. Esa frase quiere decir cómo se dice o cómo, cómo se dice. Y usted ah. no dice la palabra en español, ¿ok? Sí. Yeah. Cuando tenga un problema con la pronunciación de una palabra, quiero que comencemos, que nos acostumbremos a esto. How do you pronounce? How do you... Y luego usted me dice, how do you pronounce? ¿Ok? Si yo le digo algo y usted no lo escuchó bien, a veces pasa. You can tell me. Repeat, please. Mm -hmm. Eso es para que yo lo repita. Le cuento right. porque no es, que, no es que usted esté siendo mal, ¿ok? No quiero que se me sienta mal. La idea es que quiero que su mente, estas frases ya queden. ¿Para qué? Para que su mente se le haga más fácil el estar pensando en inglés para que vayamos dejando el apoyo y la seguridad que nos da el idioma que ambos tenemos en común que es el español yo necesito que su mente entienda que también tenemos el inglés en común y el inglés que usted tiene, el vocabulario que usted tiene en inglés, it is enough for us to understand each other es lo suficiente para que nos entendamos. Of course, it needs more practice. Necesita un poquito más de práctica. But we can do it. Pero sí lo podemos hacer. Ok. Let's try, let's start with these little phrases. Comencemos con estas pequeñas frases. Ok. And slowly, lentamente, I will be including extra material. Y poco a poco le voy a ir mandando directamente material extra. 
okay? okay. Now, okay. I need you, let's see. I need you to do a little homework. I need you to think about the which specific vocabulary would you like me to help you? Quiero que piense qué vocabulario en particular quiere comenzar a trabajar. That way, I will send you that specific vocabulary. Voy a necesitar que usted me mande un mensajito. Directo, en WhatsApp. Pero directamente a mí, donde me diga, mire, teacher, quiero mejorar, estoy interesado en vocabulario relacionado con este tema. Y yo le voy a mandar el vocabulario de ese tema. Luego, cuando... Le voy a mandar el vocabulario y le voy a mandar la pronunciación. Uh -huh. Ok. So you can practice. Y así poco a poco vamos a ir construyendo como estructuras. The idea is for you to get more vocabulary. En este momento lo que más nos cuesta es eso, tener todo el vocabulario. Porque queremos expresar un montón de ideas y a veces no hallamos cómo, ¿verdad? Sí. Okay. Nos faltan las palabras. But slowly, poco a poco. Ok. Remember, you can also, recuérdese que en la plataforma también puede repasar las clases. Sí. Tuvo una clase que no le quedó claro, usted puede verla de nuevo. Remember that the exercises from the platform, los ejercicios de la plataforma, los puede hacer más de una vez. And don't worry, the platform is going to take your highest grade. La plataforma le va a tomar la nota más alta. Ok. Yeah. Así que no se preocupe si saqué 8 en este y lo hice nuevo y saqué 7. Pasa. La plataforma le va a seguir tomando la nota más alta. Okay? Okay, so, okay. let's do it. I mean, the idea is for me to help you. Si hay algo en específico, algún tipo de ejercicio, o algo que necesite, dígame. Yo le ayudo. Thank you, teacher. No, no, it's a pleasure. Say, or do you say mande? <laughs> Mande. <laughs> Mande, teacher. <laughs> no, tell okay. me. Okay. How do you say it? Tell me. You can say, you can say, no. Realmente para la idea que usted quiere decir, lo que decimos nosotros en español, cuando alguien nos llama o nos le dice, Rebeca, se dice, Mande. Mande. <laughs> In my case, would be like, yes, teacher. Yes, simplemente dice yes. Esa idea la transmitimos en inglés diciendo yes. ¿Ok? Sí, hay algo que también me dijeron porque siempre a mí me preguntan durante el día también. Eh, eh, ¿Qué es lo que estoy diciendo o algo? Y, y la respuesta que siempre digo, yes, I do. Y me dice, es que no solo tenés que decir yes, I do, tenés que aumentar otra palabra, decir otra cosa. Lo que tiene que hacer es explicar, ah, agregarle sí. un poquito. En lugar, en lugar de decir, yes, I do, uh, como por ejemplo, este, eh, do you sell products? Usted me dice, yes, I sell products. Volver a repetir en parte de la... Yeah. Do, you work, do you work for homie? Yes, I work for homie. You see? Okay. Make it a little bit longer. Rebeca, I will be expecting your message. Think. Voy a estar esperando su mensaje. Piense sobre qué, ¿ok? Thank you, teacher. Thank you. My pleasure. Have a good night. Good night. Bye. Good night.
Well, that's it. Thanks. Bye-bye.